In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the area of a trapezoid. So let's go over the formula first. What you need is base 1 and base 2 and the height of the trapezoid. With this information, you could find it. The area is 1 half b1 plus b2 times the height. So basically, it's the average of the two base lengths multiplied by the height. So go ahead and find the area of this particular trapezoid. Let's say the first base is 8 and the length of the longer base is 12. And it has a height of 10. So all you need to do is basically plug the information into the formula. And you're going to get the answer. So in this example, B1 is 8 b2 is 12 and the height is 10. 8 plus 12 is 20. Half of 20 is 10. So thus we have 10 times 10. So the area of this particular trapezoid is 100 square units. So this is the answer. Now let's move on to our next example. So this time, we're going to work with an isosceles trapezoid, where those two sides are equivalent. The first base is going to have a length of 6, and the longer base is going to have a length of 12. Find the area of this trapezoid. Now, the one thing that we're missing is the height of the trapezoid. We need that to find the area. So I'm going to break the trapezoid into a rectangle and two triangles. Now we already have the length of the rectangle is 6. And these two sides are equivalent. They share the same height, so therefore they have to have the same base. Now 12 minus 6 is 6, and we need to divide it by 2, so that means this side has to be 3, and that side has to be 3. So all three sides have to add up to 12. Now we need to find the height. So let's focus on this triangle. So what we have is a right triangle with a base of 3 and a hypotenuse of 5. Let's calculate the height. So we need to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a is 3, b is the height, and c is 5. 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, and 25 minus 9 is 16. Now to find b, we need to take the square root of 16, which is 4. So 4 is the height of the trapezoid. Now that we have the height of the trapezoid, we can go ahead and use the formula to get the answer. So in our example, b1 is 6, b2 is 12. So this is going to be 1 half 6 plus 12 times the height of 4. 6 plus 12 is 18. And half of 18 is 9. So we have 9 times 4, which is 36. So this is the area of the trapezoid. It's 36 square units. Here's another example that you could work on. So let's say this side is 25, the length of the shorter base is 30, and this other side is 26. And let's say this side, which only represents this portion, the length is the base of the triangle on the right. Let's say it has a length of 10. So with this information, Go ahead and find the area of the trapezoid. Now there's two things that we're missing. We have B1. B1 is 30. We don't have the value of the second base, nor do we have the height. So we've got to find H and B2. So how can we go about doing that? Well, we could find the height using this triangle. We have a base of 10 and a hypotenuse of 26. So let's find the missing side. 
So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Let's say a is 10, b is the height, and c is 26. 26 squared is 676. 10 squared is 100. So to find h squared, we need to subtract 676 by 100, which is 576. And now we need to take the square root of both sides. The square root of 576 is 24. So therefore, that's the height of the trapezoid. Now, since this side is 30, this side must also uh, be 30 as well. Now, the last thing we need to do is find this side. If we could do that, then we could find the length of B2. We already have H at this point. So now let's focus on the triangle on the left. The triangle has a height of 24, a hypotenuse of 25, and we need to find a base. So let's use the formula a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared one more time. So we're looking for a. b is 24. Well, actually, let's make sure this is b. We'll say 24 is a so we don't confuse the letters. c is 25. 24 squared is 576. 25 squared is 625. 625 minus 576, that's 49. And the square root of 49 is 7. So therefore, the base of the triangle on the left is 7 units long. So now B2, which represents the total length of the second base, is going to be 30 plus 10 plus 7, which is 47. So now we could find the area of the entire trapezoid using this formula. So B1 is 30, B2 is 47, and H is 24. So 1 half times 24, that's basically 12. And 30 plus 47 is 77. So all we need to do is multiply 12 by 77. And so the trapezoid is 924 square units. So that's the area of this particular trapezoid. Now let's say if we have another trapezoid with a height of 12 and a base of 20. And let's say you're given the area of this trapezoid. Let's say it's 204 square units. What is the length of the shorter base? Sometimes you may need to find a missing side of a trapezoid. And as long as you have everything else, it's not going to be too difficult. So all you got to do is first write the formula. Next, plug in everything that you have. We know that A1, I mean not A1, but A is 204. We don't know the value of B1. So we're just going to rewrite it as B1. B2 is 20, and H, the height, is 12. So now all we need to do is find the value of B1. So let's multiply 1 half by 12. Half of 12 is 6. So now 204 is equal to 6 times B1 plus 20. Now the next thing I would do is divide both sides by 6. So on the right side, we no longer need the parentheses. 204 divided by 6 is 34. So 34 is equal to B1 plus 20. Now all we need to do is subtract both sides by 20. So B1 is 34 minus 20. So the left of the first base is 14. And that's what you can do if you need to find the missing side of a trapezoid. Basically, write the formula, plug in everything you have, and just find the missing variable. It's math at that point. It's just algebra.